Hey everybody, welcome back to Prepper Junkie. Today we are going to unbox a uh, EOTech EXPS 3-2. Um, so let's go ahead and open this up and show you the contents. Comes a little flashy EOTech sticker. Quick user's reference. A couple of warranty cards, registration information. And the optic. All right, so let's take a look at the overall optic here. One of the things you're gonna notice, this does have the QD mount on here. With the EXPS models, they have um, a QD mount, and with the XPS models, they don't have a QD mount. Um, the QD mount works great. You just push in the little button here, pull that tab, and it opens the adjustments on this side. It works really well, um, absolutely zero issues with it. Once it's on, it definitely does not move. You'll also notice sometimes you'll have the buttons on the side here um, and the buttons, excuse me, the buttons on the back here and then the buttons are on the side here. And that really comes into play when you attach it to a 1913 rail and you have... So that really comes into play when you're using the EOTech magnifier. So you'll notice obviously if the buttons are on the back here, which are on some models, you're not going to be able to push those buttons uh, when you are uh, when you have the magnifier in use, you would need to push it to the side, adjust those and so forth. So it's really nice that these are on the side and you can make your adjustments for the brightness, night vision or whatever you need to do. As I say, and to take it off, just push the button back, left this tab, it snaps right off. All right, so uh, moving on, as you see on the other side, so we have obviously the adjustments on the left side. On the right side, we have the windage and elevation right here to make your adjustments. Uh, and then we have this here. This is the battery compartment. You're gonna need something like a coin or a screwdriver to uh, loosen this. Mine's came actually very, very tight. So I actually did it a little bit off camera. So you just simply turn it. And pop there, I don't know if you heard that or not. Uh, and it is tethered, which is really nice. So if you're in the field and you have to take this off and you don't you know, drop it and lose it, so that's very nice. Uh, it does have an O-ring on right here and that helps keep this uh, waterproof and submersible down to 33 feet, which is 10 meters. Um, let's put this back in. Negative goes to the back, positive to the front, I believe. <laughs> so find out if it doesn't come on. Um, screw that back on. Okay. You also notice that it has this kind of. Let's see if I can make sure I'm checking this on the camera. There's like a gap here. This is kind of. This is like a housing unit that, that keeps the optics safe. So and it's really strong. It's T6, um, 60, 61, T6 aluminum. Um, so it's very rugged. So if it takes knocks, it's going to actually. It's not actually going to hit the optic directly. It's going to hit this kind of protective um, cover over the top of it, which is really nice. Uh, it does use a standard uh, 1913 Picatinny rail to attach uh, to mount. Um, let's have a look here. What it, oh, the battery is a CR123A battery, if you didn't already notice that. Um, and they're pretty common. You can pick them up for like a buck. The battery life on these, um, you're looking at between, uh, on setting 12, you're looking, and there's 20 settings. So set it in 12, you're looking at about 600 hours, but these can go up to 1,000 hours of battery life. Um, to switch them on, if you push the down button, that will give you uh, a constant on of four hours and it will automatically switch off. If you press the up button, it will give you a constant on of eight hours um, and auto shut off. Night vision is constant on for eight hours with auto shut off. Now, I don't know if people may or may not like the auto shut off. I personally really like it. I forget to shut my optics off all the time. Um, you know, which is fine if you're having a running an aim point or something when you have a five year battery life, but obviously these take up so much more power with the holographic um, that you just say you're looking at 600 to 1000 hours. So you really, for me, I really like that auto off feature. Um, it saves my butt every time I leave uh, the range and I forget to switch it off. Um, <clears throat> all EOTEX uh, holographic website sites come with a 10 year warranty. So if you have any issues, hit them up. Um, also, this is the new logo. So if you're looking to purchase um, an EOTech, uh, you know, a holographic website, holographic website, holographic site off of somewhere like eBay, make sure you're getting the new logo and not the old logo. I'll roll in an image of that for you so you know what it looks like. Um, but you do want the new logo um, on your optic, which you can see on both sides here. It's my favorite reticle on the market by far. Um, is that, you know, and some other companies are starting to adapt and uh, pick up that. 
that reticle and for a very, very good reason. Let's talk about the reticle for a minute. Um, so this one is, it's not, so there's there's different models, right? There's the EXPS 3-0, 3-2, 3-3, 3-4. And what the dash one, uh, 2, 3, and 4 are standing for is the um, second dot in the reticle. So you have the donut of death, and this one has is the two. So it has, instead of just a center dot, it has a center dot, but one below it. One below it is designed for ranging. So if you're, um, now it's a, you know, it, with a non-magnified um, optic, I wouldn't probably go past two dots because it does, it's kind of hard to see at distance because it gets kind of cluttered. Um, but with the magnifier, it's actually really clear and it's really helpful to have the extra dots on there so I can gauge distance. Um, and so I know how, you know, how to use the reticle for shooting. Um, so with the magnifier, highly recommend the multiple dots without the magnifier i would probably just go with the standard 3-0 it's just my personal preference now with regards to the reticle also um, and i probably shouldn't have to say this i think most people are going to be aware of this but if you are not when you look through an eotech um, if you look directly at the reticle it's going to look pixelated it's going to look kind of fuzzy that is exactly how it's supposed to be okay um it's so don't worry if it looks that way that's correct. You're not actually supposed to look directly at the reticle, but look through it, and that will sharpen it up for you as you look through it. But um, the little pixelation um, is actually a very good feature, and I definitely want it there. So uh, don't worry if it is there, it's the way it should be. Um, my final thoughts on this, um, do I recommend an EOTech? Um, abs I, actually, I personally absolutely love EOTech. It is by far my favorite <clears throat> optic for close quarter combat period. N nothing else for me comes close with the huge field of view, the donut of death. Now obviously you're gonna use them both eyes open so it, people will say, well that negates the fact. Okay, both eyes open, yes, but the huge field of view, crystal clear glass, it's not tinted. Um, the, the donut of death remains fantastic. <clears throat> it's my favorite radical on the market. So that pretty much wraps up the review um, of this optic. Sorry, I don't have any range time with it. I'm showing you some video of me shooting it. It's obviously with the time this video is published, it's a little hard to get the range, um, but I have shot these before. This is not my first EOTech. This is probably actually my third. Um, so they, they do perform brilliantly. I, as I say, I have no qualms in recommending it. If you're looking to purchase one, I'll put in a link in the description to the different models um, if you want to pick one up. Um, and if you have any questions, any comments, by all means, ask them below. I'm always happy to help out if I can. Um, if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, please do so. It really does help me out. It doesn't cost you anything. And uh, if you're not following me on Prepper Junkie on Twitter, please do so. It's just at Prepper Junkie. And all I do is I post deals on guns, ammo, optics, things like that. Um, and I generally post almost every single day on there. So check me out if you're looking for some good deals. All right, that's it, everybody. Have a fantastic day. Catch you later.